John Calvin on Psalm 9, verses 6 through 9. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. He has established his throne for judgment. As often as nothing but destruction presents itself to our view, to whatever side we may turn, let us remember to lift up our eyes to the heavenly throne whence God beholds all that is done here below. In the world, our affairs may have been brought to such an extremity that there is no longer hope in regard to them. But the shield with which we ought to repel all the temptations by which we are assailed is this, that God, nevertheless, sits judge in heaven. Yea, when he seems to take no notice of us and does not immediately remedy the evils which we suffer, it becomes us to realize by faith his secret providence. The psalmist says, in the first place, God sits forever, by which he means that however high the violence of men may be carried, and although their fury may burst forth without measure, they can never drag God from his seat. He farther means by this expression that it is impossible for God to abdicate the office and authority of judge. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed. God delays his aid, and to outward appearance forsakes his faithful ones in order at length to succor them at a more convenient season, according to the greatness of their necessity and affliction. From this it follows that he by no means ceases from the exercise of his office, although he suffer the good and innocent to be reduced to extreme poverty, and although he exercise them with weeping and lamentations, but by doing this he lights up a lamp to enable them to see his judgments the more clearly a stronghold in times of trouble. From this we are taught the duty of giving his providence time to make itself at length manifest in the season of need. And if protection by the God of power and the experience of his fatherly favor is the greatest blessing which we can receive, let us not feel so uneasy at being accounted poor and miserable before the world, but let this consolatory consideration assuage our grief that God is not far from us, seeing our afflictions call upon him to come to our aid.